Howdy y'all. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. This, I'm going to entitle this the Great Capo Caper of the Cadillac Ranch. So um, it's this is more uh, of, uh, I never really use capos very much. I was, I don't know why I had this in my brain. I thought they were cheating. I don't know why. But um, then I found one day just messing around, looking around, um, a better, or uh, a better, uh, something that clicked in my head. Um, it was an explanation to use the capo for as a tool um, instead of doing it for changing um, uh, changing keys, uh, do it use it as a tool for helping you out to play chords better. And I, I know that just sounds weird. That wasn't even close to what how I mean to say this. But um, basically, instead of using it to ch to change a key. Uh, I'm going to use it to help me to play a song better because the song I'm going to, uh, I, I was, I'm talking about is Cadillac Ranch by Bruce Springsteen and, and you can play it just all. Which is cool. It's a little bit difficult to play that way though, especially if you have to shout out the words too, um, because it, there's just, I don't know, to me, there, there's a lot of working parts. There. So you want to minimize that. And how do you minimize that? Well, put the bar where it's gonna be most, and that's all this is, because this, instead of changing the key, you're just using it to form a G chord, just a little bit differently. So then you go, there she sits, buddy, just leaning in the sun. Also like that to to I, it's got to be Nils Lofgren who did that, but, it, but at the chorus when it gets to the open up your engines, let them work. That's it, that's the whole song, including chorus. Anyways, I hope you all is having a good day. That's a great capo caper for today. You've had your mystery, no more of this murder she wrote stuff. Anyways, I hope you all is having a good day. Great day, actually. Always look up, he's there for you. And I'll see you then. Peace.